Welcome back aliens, my name is Davin Reddy and let's continue with the series on JavaScript. In this video, we'll talk about array methods. We have talked about arrays and then we were able to print all the values of the array with the help of for off loop. But then there are some methods which we can use to achieve that. Okay, so we'll talk about some more methods. In fact, we have talked about splice method, uh, push, pop. This time, let's explore more. Specifically, this is more for the values when you have huge amount of values and if you want to uh, do some operations on that. The famous one is the map reduce or the filter. Uh, so we'll try those uh, methods here in this example or in this video. But initially we'll start with the for each method and let's see what that means. See, first of all, when you talk about an array, in fact, we don't have an array yet. Let's create one array. So let's say we have an array of nums. Of course, you can go with any type of array or any name of the variable here. But as of now, let's go with nums. And then I have few values here. And let me just go with the complex values. Let's say 42, 51, uh, 24, maybe 8, 98. I'm just going with some random numbers, 65 and 12. So you can see how many values we have. We have six values here, right? Now with these six values, I just want to print all the values. Now, yes, we can do that by just printing this uh, array as it is. Uh, you can say log and you can mention nums. The moment you save this, we can just go back here and say run and you can see we got the array as it is. Okay, but uh, what I want here is I want to print each value individually because if you have that power of printing the value individually, you can perform some other operations as well. Uh, maybe you want to multiply the number by some other number or you want to perform some other operation important thing is I want to get this value one by one. You can do that with the help of for off loop which we have seen before. As of now let's try to use a method of an array. So array which is the array nums here has a method called for each. So now what this for each will do is for each is a method which will give you one by one value. So it will throw the value, it will give you the next value then you can perform the operation on that. So basically for each says, I will give you one value at a time. Now it depends upon you what you want to do with that. Okay, but then how we are going to do something with that? See the thing you can do something in a programming languages with the help of methods or functions, right? So this for each will take one value and it, it will pass that value to a function. Now you have to accept the value in a function and you can perform any operation. So basically what we are saying is we need to define a function inside a function. Okay, so this, this for each is a function of this nums and in the bracket we have to pass a function. Now we can go for the anonymous function, oh, the arrow function which we have talked about. So we can use that. So let's use an arrow function, let's give a bracket and let's use an arrow. So this function will take a value and it will perform some operation. So we have to open the curly brackets for that because this is a function. I just hope you remember arrow functions. Uh, this is an arrow function here. So what we are doing is we are trying to create a function inside the function as a parameter here. I know that's tricky initially, but when you try it by yourself, it will make sense. Okay, uh, but what value have to accept? So this for each will give you one value at a time, right? So we'll accept that in one particular variable, let's say n as of now. I know this is not a good way of writing a variable name, but that works, right? So let's pass n here. And then this n will be passed in that function. Now in this function, you can perform any operation with this n. Maybe you can print this value. Maybe you can multiply this by two, your choice. I just want to print this value here. So what I will say is I will say log and let me print the value as it is. I'm not doing anything else. I'm just taking the value and printing it. Okay, let's see if that works first. So before the explanation and it works, you can see we got all the values individually printed on the terminal. So you got 42, 51, 24, 98, 65, and 12. That works. Okay, but then how exactly is working? Now for each is a method of an array. So it will take one value at a time and that value will be assigned to n. Now this is a parameter or the argument you are passing. Now it will go to this function. And you can do any operation here. As you can see, we are just printing it. Maybe you will multiply. Maybe you will do something else, your choice. But here at this point, I'm just printing it and that works. Now you can also multiply this number by two if you want and that should work. You can see all the values are multiplied here. Uh, so this is how we can use a for each. But again, if you remember in arrow function, we have talked about one more thing. Whenever you have an arrow function and if it only accepts one argument, you don't need to put a round bracket for that. And so you can skip that, it will still work. 
okay that's how we can use another function now apart from this or sorry that's how you can use a for each now for each can be used for different types of data in fact in the upcoming videos we'll talk about set we'll talk about map and you can use for each there as well okay yeah so that's about in fact you know for each also takes three parameters if i'm not wrong uh, you can pass the value num uh, you can pass a value one, one value at a time you can also pass the index value and you can also pass the array as it is not tried this before let's see if that works so yeah it works so basically in, in an array you can pass one value which is the value itself or you can pass the value you can pass the index of that value and you can pass the entire array uh, how do we know if that works let's print it one by one let's print the number then let's print the index number as well and we'll print the nums the actual array and it should print here yeah. it is printing the value which is 42 the first value then it is printing this index value and it is printing the entire array as it is same thing goes next value 51 and then the index value and then we got the entire array itself so that's how we can use a for each method that's one of the methods which of the array which we have talked about in the next video we'll talk about the filter map and reduce one of my favorite topics so see you in the next video. I hope you are enjoying. Let me in the comment section and do subscribe for other videos. Bye-bye.